some very influential uh, reports came out in the early 2000s from the Institute of Medicine, the most shocking of which was to errors human, where they said 44,000 to 98,000 uh, errors occur in hospitals that result in death. So to reinforce that again, almost 100,000 deaths each year as a result of avoidable medical errors. We have lots of opportunities to, to really um, uh, control and monitor the, the system itself. So collecting data and finding out you know, when there are outbreaks that could occur or um, you know, guiding the process of care from the moment that it, a patient walks in the door in a hospital to the point that they leave and then also follow up after that. I really have two streams of research. One is looking at adoption and diffusion of these sorts of technologies. And I, I happen to focus on two that I think are the, um, the most important that we're seeing right now, which is electronic medical records and electronic prescribing. And um, one stream of my research looks at the adoption and diffusion of those technologies. You know, what are the barriers to adoption? Um, we're finding, I guess not surprisingly, that, that there is um, resistance to these. And you know, that's something we see in other industries as well. Whenever you introduce change, there's a learning curve associated with that. People don't want to change their work processes. So there are barriers from that perspective. Um, but Interestingly, I think the diffusion aspect of it, you know, how are they diffusing across the country uh, is, is pretty in intriguing. Um, in particular, we, we found that it follows a contagious process. So much as, you know, a virus can spread through interaction between humans, um, technologies or innovations within hospitals can spread from hospital to hospital. So the second stream of my research is, um, is looking at value. So what we're doing is taking it to the next level now and saying, when are you integrating these technologies into the, the system at your hospital? They are taking data from CT scans, MRIs, other um, sort of uh, medical technologies within the facility, and bringing all of that data into a central hub where different users can use it for different purposes. Some may be financial, some may be process related, some may, we hope they are clinical based so that you know, we're not running the same tests over and over again on people. 